This is my monologue from an excerpt taken from the play Unbearable Hotness. I just killed fuck. I fucking killed Chuck. I mean, I, I think. I mean, he—he's just laying there. He's—he's he's not moving. I—I I don't think he's breathing. I, I mean, there was up on the roof with Marissa, talking, laughing, having a great time. I—I I, I tell her she reminds me of Sandra Bullock. I—I I tell her I loved Hope Floats. Who knew those would be the magic words? Uh, next, next thing I—I I knew. Next thing I know, I, I her clothes are off and we're we're ro loosening roof shingles. Like there's no tomorrow, and then there's biting and kissing and touching, and suddenly someone starts beating on me, like I mean just just pounding on me, and and growling, yeah, growl growling, and I look up and there's Chuck, and I'm like, what's the problem? And says the problem is, dude, you're fucking my girlfriend. What? So I looked at Marissa and I'm like, you're someone's girlfriend, and she says no. Then it comes out, Chuck just wishes she's his girlfriend, but actually she's his cousin or something. So he's got these feelings of guilt about wanting her. And and then he starts crying. So does that ruin the mood? Marissa put her clothes on. And she goes back down through the window, back in the party. And I'm, I'm left with Chuck blubbering, whining, crying Chuck. And he starts in on how he's just a total fuck up. And maybe he should just throw himself off, throw himself off the roof. For a split second, I'm thinking, yes, throw yourself off the roof, do it. But I, 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 I don't say that. I, I say, I, you're gonna get a girl, buddy. Just maybe not your cousin, huh? And I give him a friendly pat on the back. A nice manly slap on the back. And he looked heavy. I mean, who knew he'd go flying? Who knew he'd go flying off the roof?